Emmy and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to fashion moment 28 it's so nice to have you here and it's so good to be back I'm so excited to talk to you about this perfect outfit <laughs> that I curated so we're going to be talking about how I styled it different ways and the accessories accessories including you know hats coats bags, jewelry, but also makeup as an accessory. And we're gonna talk about that uh, in a little bit. But um, yeah, I wanted to say, um, just take a look at this outfit. And of course, I'm, I'm using this chair. <laughs> it's either a little awkward, a little funny or cute, but I'm just using it to have fun as a prop. It's one of my props. And I just thought it would be uh, interesting to come to you this way and to start the video off this way. But um, I wanna tell you that um, yeah, you can only really see a little bit of my stockings here. You can see a little bit of my wrists, my hands, uh, and from my neck up. Uh, I'm not saying that this is not bodycon because it is this dress. It's a Michael Kors. And, but what I wanted to say is how you pull it off. And I'm here to say too that you don't have to show off everything. You don't have to show off like a big cleavage and, and, and just have holes. <laughs> I don't know what, but you know what I'm saying and you can still um, look elegant and sophisticated and uh, great for date night or whatever occasion you're going out to. And um, I also wanted to say that I heard a woman on YouTube that I admire and I still admire, you know, everybody, you have to do what's comfortable for you. So you know, ladies, if you can rock this kind of an outfit and if you can, you know, 40s, 50s, 60s and up, you, you go rock that outfit, okay? I'm telling you that, that's coming straight from me. You rock that outfit. But she was saying, oh, what I'm not going to be wearing in 2022 is thigh high boots. I just don't feel like they're appropriate. Well, I'm here to say that they're totally appropriate and they're actually, functionally, they're very warm. These are the Steve Maddens and they're very warm and they cover you. And uh, I just don't get that. So I'm here to tell you, you go wear those boots <laughs> as well. All right, so I just, you know, I'm so excited to, um, to get started with this video and um, to show you all the styling and I have some tips and secrets. So, hey, without further ado, let's get started. So beautiful women, I just wanted to um, talk to you a little bit about the Saint makeup before we get started with the fashioning. You know, we always talk about um, hats and coats and jewelry and bags as our accessories, but you know, makeup is really an accessory. And I really did it up for this look, so much so that when I was doing it, I was like, I'm gonna have to do a tutorial on, on this eyeshadow look. Um, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it. So I've got my basic hack on. Um, which is, uh, HAC stands for Highlight and Contour. So that's my foundation creams, uh, my contour, my lip and cheek, and my illuminators. And I'll list them below, but the uh, star of the show here are my eyes, and I did some special things. And so I just want to talk to you about what's on them, and I'll definitely be doing um, a tutorial with this look in it, because this, I used, um, I guess one of our, our, our um, what do they call them? The really shimmery ones, the, you know, the Graceland. There's a couple different ones like that, Dollywood and different. We have some super shimmer ones. And I just, I felt like with all this gold and this leopard and this body kind of my gold cores outfit that I wanted to show you a really cool eye look. So let me step forward to the camera so you can actually see what's going on here. 
Um, if anybody tells you if you're older and you can't wear a little glitter now and then, mm -mm, they're wrong, okay? I'm here to tell you they are wrong. And um, I wanna show you what I did. So basically with the eyeshadows, I did a very basic um, starting point and then I jazzed it up with the glitter. And the glitter I used is called Graceland. So I wanna show you, um, and here's my Saint Compact, my lovely Saint, I call them Compact, it's a palette. Technically it's called a palette. And I just wanna show you what the Graceland looks like. So yeah, check that out. That is a color, a serious, a serious shimmery color. And, um, and you wouldn't wear it every day, but um, this is not an everyday kind of outfit. This is like total, you know, glam, date night, petite, sophisticate, and you know, this is what we're talking about here. And um, I think this, um, this shimmer is just perfect. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm gonna throw all the puns in I can. I'm just a punny person. I think you know that about me by now. Um, so before, um, yeah, before I talk about that Graceland, let me just take you through what I did. So I put on my regular MAC primer, paint, pop primer and painterly, and then I put on my vanilla dust, and then I went in with As If, Okay, and then Angel's Landing, and then Drift. And then I took the Drift, I went right up under my eyebrows because I want contrast, but then I hit right here with the Aries to pop it. Okay, but I contrasty, so I play on that contrast. Sometimes when you have certain um, aspects of your features, play them up. Um, you know, but some people are like, oh, my eyebrows are, play it up, baby. You know, work with what you've got and make the best of it. And of course, I contoured my eyes with Lullaby, which I always contour my eyes, um, which means this is very important. If you have hooded eyes, you want to get into the natural crease, come down on a cute angle, but then look straight ahead and apply it right here so that it gives your eyes more depth. So that was a very basic, um, like four eye, you know, five eye shadow look because I used a little bit of Aries. And then I used coal on my eyebrows. But then I was like, oh, I want something more. And so I went in with this NYX primer and it looks like, well, now that I stuck my thing in it, it has a little bit of the Graceland because I stuck my brush back in it, but it looks white. And you can use this on your whole eyes if you want to get a lot of color payoff um, because it really creates a white canvas and it really makes your colors pop. But what I wanted to do is make that glitter stick and that glitter won't stick without um, using some of that. So that's what I did. And I did it here with the Graceland and then I did it right in here. And you can see it just gives that sparkle. And um, I absolutely adore it. So I wanted to share that with you. I didn't want to talk too long about the Saint makeup. I just did a big tutorial on Saint, so check that out. It's like, I love pink. And um, it gets into great detail of everything that I did and how I apply the makeup and how affordable it is. And um, it just, and, and the longevity of it and, and how it works so beautifully on all types of skin, but especially mature skin. So, um, and it really talks about price and detail. You'd be surprised how affordable this makeup is. And so with that being said, you know, I wanna be your artist and I really hope you enjoy this um, eyeshadow look and I am going to be doing it, like I said, in a future video. So um, yeah, so hey, let's uh, get on to the fashioning. All right, ladies, so let's talk some fashion, um, yeah. I have to hold this mic. I don't want to put it and scratch this metal here, which does, uh, let's see, yeah, it says Michael Kors because it's a Michael Kors um, dress and I absolutely adore this dress. Um, uh, yes, it is totally bodycon and it, I think it's totally flattering, okay? Um, let's talk about it a little. Um, as I said in the intro, I talked about um, you know, the only things that are really showing here is a, my wrist and a little tiny peak of my stockings. And, um, but I like that. Um, you don't have to have everything hanging out <laughs> everywhere or a skirt that's, you know, you're wondering, is it a shirt <laughs> or, or is it a dress? You don't have to do that. Um, you can really rock it and look sexy and look sophisticated. Um, as a petite or as you know any size and you can do it 
um, in an understated, elegant way. And that's what I think this outfit is doing and for me. Okay, so let's um, start from the bottom to the top and that's how I usually do it. So I'm wearing my Steve Madden thigh-high boots, which I absolutely adore. Um, you know, they are sexy, but besides being sexy in the wintertime, it's been cold here in South Carolina. We've had it in the 20s and 30s. Now, I've been here for six years, so that is not normal, but hey, um, you have to be prepared. And these are actually really warm and comfortable. Um, yeah, it's over a three inch heel, but I know we talked about slope before. Slope is really important, so pay attention to that slope. If you feel like you're leaning up like this when you're wearing the shoe, it's not going to be comfortable, okay? But if you feel like when you put that on and you just feel like you're on even ground, that means it has a good slope and that means it's gonna be comfortable. So, you know, you wanna look good, but you wanna feel comfortable or else, you know, your face is gonna have a really bad expression on it all night if you're in pain. Um, comfort is super important to me and I know it is to a lot of uh, you ladies out there as well. Um, yeah, did I say I'm gonna be holding this mic the whole time? Nowhere to put it. Uh, it feels a bit odd, but <laughs> <laughs> just have to do it works. Um, the other thing these boots have going for them is um, that the pointed toe, and we've talked about that, the pointed toe will really help elongate you and make you look taller. And then we've got the, the, the deep dark line. Of course, I'm wearing dark hose here to just keep that going until you get to the dress. Um, and let's get to the dress. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so this is a Michael Kors, and you know where I picked this up? I picked this up at Divine Consign, okay, in Charlotte, North Carolina, and shout out to Divine Consign. Isn't this lovely? Um, I've been doing a lot of consignment shopping lately and consigning some of my own stuff, and it's really great. I picked up my check uh, the other day, and they were so nice. I had a nice chat with a woman who worked there, and, um, and it's just lovely there. They have a lot of fun things, a lot of evening out kind of things, uh, you know, very uh, styling. You won't see a lot of workwear there, but you'll see things like this. And when I saw this, I had to try it on. And when I tried it on, I absolutely loved it. Can I tell you that um, I paid $36 for this dress. I don't mind saying it because it's consignment. And I want to show you how, you know, you know, it still had the tags on it. Obviously somebody bought it or it was purchased for somebody and they didn't even, it didn't fit right or didn't look right on them. They didn't even get worn. Okay, so here I am wearing something really cool like this and loving it and um, so you can do that too. Um, so yeah, get out there. Get out there to Divine Consign and, and see what finds they have. And I know right now they're clearing out, they're having their uh, winter sale, but, um, they're gonna be having some spring stuff coming up soon, so definitely, yeah, check them out. I highly recommend them. They're nice to work with, and it's great to shop there. And so let me tell you, I love this dress. So I love it because it provides great coverage. I love the style of it. I love the ruching. I love the way it's right here, this, this little like waterfall um, draping is so nice, okay? I, this, this dress just, it shows everything in a really nice way. Um, I'm gonna be turning around and everything with the styling, um, but yeah, you're gonna see that. Now, I chose um, not to wear it with um, any, uh, what is that? Uh, shapewear, that's what it is, shapewear. I just don't like the restriction of it, but with a dress like this, it can do a lot for a dress like this. Um, shapewear, this is a dress you might consider wearing shapewear with. If not, just do what I'm doing and wear the control top pantyhose and make sure you've got them pulled up to here, okay? Because you don't want like a line. This is gonna show everything. So you want the smoothness and then any little bit that might appear is kind of covered with the ruching. So this is such a well-made dress. Um, well thought out and well designed. I really love Michael Kors. I have so many of his things, um, as you will see um, when I style one of my coats with this. Um, but he works very well on me, and so I'm assuming that he works well with other petite shapes. I have a, a few dresses from him, even um, just straight shift dresses that really look good on me. 
And I, I think he's just kind of, I don't, his, his styling, I just love it. And I love it as um, an athletic petite. So there's more to say about this dress. Okay, so I know we always talk about the rule of thirds and this is really pulling the rule of thirds off. So you can see right here where it's cutting in on me and then dropping down. So this is my top third right here. And then from here down to the bottom of my boots, that is, is my bottom third. And it just really makes this dress look fabulous. And it makes me look taller and longer and leaner. You know, I talked, I'm gonna do a whole video on this, but I talked a little bit about posture as well. Okay, so posture, uh, and I'll, yeah, I can't wait to do that video actually. Now, you know I'm a professional photographer, so posture is really important uh, when I'm posing my clients and everything, but I'll just give you a little example. Do you see how I'm standing now? Now, I don't have my, often photographers or, or other people will tell you, or your mother will tell you, put those shoulders back. Well, it looks ridiculous, okay? Don't put those shoulders back. In ballet, they talk about keeping, you know, working in from your torso and keeping a flat back. And that's what you want to do. That's what, that's what's happening here. I'm pulling up with a flat back. The other thing that's happening here that's really helping me, look at the airspace between my arm and my waist, okay? So if you're ever gonna just pose for a picture or something, take this in. This is a really nice tip. Because look at this, all of a sudden, I look a lot bigger, don't I? Because because there's no, there's no S curve, there's no shape. All of a sudden, I put my feet, you can't see them here, but they're in a relaxed kind of third position. And you see my arm just as relaxed as anything, just floaty. But look at that nice airspace right here, okay? So that's a little, tip for you and I'm always going to be giving you tips on these videos so there you go when you're posing you can just stand like this you don't have to do anything with your hands hold anything do anything this is a great pose and you know you can see how it really works okay so let's talk a little more um, yeah I've got a little secret to tell you <laughs> and this one's kind of funny all right so I love my, I love my body. I love my body shape. I love my <laughs> flat or flatter kind of perky chest. Uh, I'm, I'm barely a size B and you know, this is a women's video and everything. So I like that. I, I, I have a spinal fusion, so my breasts don't hurt my back. I, um, I like it because I, I can get away sometimes without wearing a bra. Um, I do a lot of, you know, pull-ups, push-ups, everything lifting. So, it, you know, they are perky on their own, which is good. But, you know, sometimes in certain outfits, um, you just want a little lift. So going back to my uh, photography days in, closer to Philadelphia, where my studio was, it was a 1800s Victorian church. It was called September Rose. And I would have um, these models come in to promote things for Valentine's Day and whatnot. And um, they would do maybe like a negligee or something for their husbands, but they were small and tiny like me. And they didn't have, you know, a, a big chest. But, and they were going to wear like a merry widow where they'd be all covered, piano gloves, everything. Very, very covered, very elegant, very sophisticated, but, but nothing to speak of here. So what they would do is they would use these cutlets, which are like clear and you just put them in your bra and boy, do they work. And um, so I'm here to tell you, I saw that and I thought, you know, what do I want this year for Christmas for my stocking stuffer? <laughs> okay. So for my stocking stuffer, I got the, um, oh my goodness, let me see if I can remember what it's called. It was called um, Uplift Secret. And I will list it below, but I got the Uplift secret and they are all they are they're just little clear cutlets they come in a nice little travel bag or whatever and you just stick them in under your bra it's as easy as anything and boy do they just kind of pump up the dress <laughs> they pump up the volume a little bit and um i'm not ashamed to say it i don't want to have um i don't want and i don't knock anybody who does but i don't want to have um a, what is that called a breast surgery because uh, because i like the size they are 
Um, and like I said, it, it helps, it doesn't hurt my back and everything. And I just, it just works for my lifestyle. But there's certain times when it would hurt to have a little more volume. And this is one of them. And this is a dress that, um, you know, it really works with. And, it, and, and you know, I'm not gonna have any wardrobe malfunctions. Everything's tucked nice and tight in here. And you, there's, you know, I'm cut. So this is the perfect dress to do something like that with. And of course, if you're just wearing them, like what the models that were doing it for the shoot and everything, I'm there with them. You know, so if anything's moving or not in the right place, it's just for a picture. I don't know that I'd go out. You could. It depends on. <laughs> I don't know how much hits that you have, but um, but I like it like this, and I wanted to share that with you. So I will definitely link that below. Um, so there, there's an accessory that we never talked about before. Um, so yeah, uh, that's a nice segue into um, yeah what accessories I'm wearing. So let's just go through that. I do have a little stool here. Um, Okay, so yes, I will get a little closer to the camera and we'll just talk about the jewelry um, first and then um, I'll kind of hit each accessory separately. But um, I'm wearing this pendant that I picked up on Amazon. It's supposed to be like a, it, it's a, it's a redo of a, it's like called Picasso Smile or something like that. And then I'm wearing this heavy um, choker chain which I really like. It's, I like the boldness of it with this. It just, it really goes. It just, um, yeah, it's perfect again. And yeah, don't do that again, Emmy. Uh, and then I'm wearing these, these nice thick hoops that they don't weigh heavy on my ears. I love them too. They're Amazon. Um, and this is my mother's wedding ring. And I think it goes perfectly with them. I really like this bold, jewelry gold look that I'm going for here with this and of course as usual I'm wearing uh, my pulsar watch and my um, silver and gold bangle and just kind of keeping it simple I do have like a bigger um, bracelet like this but I thought you have to kind of someplace what did it was it Audrey Hepburn that always just said take one thing off at the end Someone did, somebody did. And I kind of I, I kind of go with that. There's a lot going on here with the gold belt, which I love how it cinches my waist in and everything. But then I've got the gold here, the gold here, here, here. And I didn't want to put on something else like this. I just felt like that was like too much, too matchy matchy. So that's what I went with for uh, the jewelry accessories. So I could have went with so many options to um, for bags, but this bag with the um, this it's a Chanel inspired bag that I picked up on Amazon. I, I've shown it before. Um, it spoke to me to go with this outfit, and I really like it. I'll just show you um, the detail here, and it just you open the hardware like this. Um, it's great for a small petite. Um, you wear the bag, the bag doesn't wear you. And look at this beautiful um, burgundy lining in here. It has compartments and everything and a little um, space in the front for maybe business cards or something. What I really like about this beautiful quilted bag with the um, gold hardware is that you can wear it as a crossbody, which you can see right here. And I'll just back up a little bit. I've got my microphone just sitting there. Uh, yep, and it looks, it looks lovely like this. But then, if you wanted, you can just take this chain like this and um, wear it a little higher up. And this can be really nice too. Um, and it just depends on where you want the bag to fall. So the dra drop of the bag can be very important for a petite person too. Um, you have to decide whether right here is, you know, when you have the bag like this, the bag where it falls is going to widen you. Okay, so if this looks good and this isn't bothering you and it's not widening you too much here, or you want to be a little wider there, that's good. If not, just crossbody it, and depending on your outfit too, and just bring it down like this. So, you know, you can tell me in the comments what you think looks better. Okay, and then um, let's get on to the next bag that I'm going to uh, show you with the fashioning. So this is the mini Melvin, and as far as I go, 
Um, this, I don't know how this ends up being mini. This is, this is all the bag I need and more. I have to be careful with this one that it doesn't wear me. Um, with certain coats and things that I wear, it really works. And you know, sometimes ladies, you just wanna carry a little bit more. You're going out for a whole day jaunt into the evening and whatnot, and you want a bag that's a little more substantial. So um, yeah, so take a look at this. Um, yeah, so I love it. I love it. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's pushing the limits for me, but it's a lovely bag and I love the way the colors work with this. A little bit of pattern repeat in here. I know this is kind of like a, a, a lizard or a snake effect. So we've got, you know, the two different things going on, but, um, you know, sometimes that's not a bad thing and you can really make it work. So yeah, this is the mini Melvin from Brahmin. And oh, let me just push this little thing forward. And last but not least with the bags, I just wanted to show you um, my mini Quinn Brahmin. This just goes with everything. Um, this is another bag that I wear the bag. It doesn't wear me. Uh, it is a crossbody, and um, I just think, you know, it just, it goes with everything. It's always right. Uh, it's just one of those bags that are always right. Um, and it's beautiful, and all the Brahmin bags are made really well. Um, now, the Melbourne, the mini Melbourne that I showed you, I paid, you know, full price for that. You can see it has, like, a lot of style and a lot of detail. and. But this one I got for a song on eBay. It's a very basic, and when you want some small basics, um, that could be a good way to afford them. By purchasing them on eBay, you will pay uh, a third of the price um, that you would if you bought them um, just you know, at the Brahmin shop or online. So that's what I do with some of my things. I get creative um, with, you know, I am, I am frugal to, an, to a point. And um, I, it's not, I, my husband always says, it's not how much you make, but it's how you spend it. So I'm very careful on, you know, putting things together and, and, um, and thinking, you know, with a financial mind and um, keeping that in mind when I'm making purchases for bags and things that are gonna last me a long time. And um, there's nothing wrong with paying less for the same great product, okay? So there's a little tip for you. Okay, well these fashion moment videos keep getting complicated and more complicated, but um, so don't expect everything to match perfectly with the fashioning, but uh, because it's just so, it's so hard to coordinate it both. But I want to just share a little bit about this little Tam that I picked up on Amazon. I had tried a few. I do a lot of sending back if it doesn't fit right or doesn't look right. You'll see me wearing it in the fashioning. It was inexpensive but it is so cool and it looks great with the moto jacket and um, I love the style of it. So you're gonna see that. I have some that are knitted. This is, um, you know, this is, a, what do they call that? Like a faux leather. And, um, but you can purchase one for, um, I think like $179 on Nordstrom if you like. <laughs> Thought I was gonna do that. Um, this, is, this is just fine. And it is adjustable in the back and you can make it tighter to fit your head. Okay, so I love this hat and you'll see it in the fashioning. Now, the next thing I wanted to show you is, and you've seen this before, but this is the Gigi Pip hat and I love the Gigi Pip hats, you know that. Um, this is the Monroe Rancher. And it's got the beautiful um, grosgrain ribbon and the Gigi Pip emblem. I've styled it with my own feather that I picked up on Amazon. I like the warm colors. I think it goes well with my leopard print. And I love the uh, teardrop shape of this. Um, it's, um, yeah, it says Gigi Pip inside and it says, here's to a woman who wears many hats. And yeah, that would be me. And um, I love hats, and um, what else can I say about this hat? I can say this, that I'm wearing a three and a half inch boots, okay? And this is gonna give me three to four inches of height. So this is putting me, you know, at a very desirable five, seven, five foot eight. So for a little five foot one person, it really adds a lot of presence and it lengthens you, okay, between the heels and the hat. So um, yeah, I love this hat and I wanna share also two tips that I've discovered. Oh, hello, little Sir Sketchwick. See him just walking through the video. 
<laughs> Are you photobombing me? All right, anyway, um, yeah, let me get to those two tips. So I'm full of tips in this video. Uh, I hope you're enjoying them. I hope, yeah, I hope I'm helping out here. So, you know that last hat I was holding up? Let me just set this down for a second. That last hat was the black one. Okay, so I picked this up on Amazon as well, and it's a travel um, lint roller. So it just, you can see, it just has a little thing here and it pops up. Now I just use it so it's got some lint on it, but these are easy to pull off. They're not gonna mess with your nail polish. They're very, you know, so, you know how some of them are like so hard to, um, to get the, the um, you know, the little sticky off? Well, this one's not. And it does, I like the size of it because it fits into all the crevices and it fits around the hat. So initially I might, so do you need one of these, especially for your dark hats, but also, you know, when you're traveling, you know, to get the lint off you. I, I just, I think this one is fabulous. Highly recommend this one. I will list it below. It's from Amazon. So the only other thing I will say with the Gigi Pap, Pip hats is I wish they would send them with, um, with a hat cover, like a dust cover, like what you, that what you would get with a handbag. Okay. so. Um, so I made the mistake of putting my black hat in one of my white dust purse covers. Yeah, that was a mistake. It took a while to overcome that one. <laughs> but then I found these on Amazon and you can see I've got the, um, I'm going to, I'm going to share this in a future video, but this is, um, the Zephyr in the Sage. It's a beautiful hat, but look at this. It, these are for bags. I mean, you can carry it like this. Um, but this can totally, you know, if you've got shelves in your closet, what kind of setup you have, or you want to hang it somewhere somehow, but this totally protects your hat. Um, and you know, you won't be having lint on it and everything. And it just keeps it a lot safer. And, um, I really like these. So I, I wanted to share this with you and it's a great, it's a great way. Like I said, just to, to keep your hat safe, keep the dust off of it. This is hard right here too. Um, so it's, it's, it's got some stability to it and everything. So I did like this and this is how I'm keeping my um, investment of my Gigi Vip hat um, dust free and safe. And I wanted to share that with you. So depending on the weather is that really depends on, you know, what kind of coat you're going to wear for the evening. Um, but different coats say different things and just, you know, you just achieve a different look. This happens to be um, my Calvin Klein that I purchased um, in February last year at Macy's. It was a great sale. February is a fabulous time to purchase a coat. So you will see this in the fashioning and um, I'm going to be wearing different purses and everything. So I want you to comment, tell me what, what, um, what style version you like the best and what bag you like the best. Tell me why. Um, and um, yeah, let's just get a little interactive and, um, and, and yeah, just um, yeah, make some comments and, and let me know what you, what you like best. Um, but I definitely love this. this uh, I love this faux fur, it's just so glamorous. I love the way um, it, the belt fits around me. I love the length of it, it makes me look taller. And we talked about that with petites. So petites can either, really what helps a petite the most is wearing a cropped coat or a long coat. A coat um, that hits at the thigh, which would be like a stadium or um, like a barn coat or a car coat, they call it. That's usually the widest part of a short person or a lot of people in general. So if you wear that, that's your widest part. So that's what's going to be amplified. And if you don't want to be amplifying that, either go cropped or go long. And long is always a good bet. But um, you, would, you wouldn't think, a lot of people don't think that a petite can wear a long coat like this, but they can. And it actually helps them to look taller. And you will see that in the fashioning. And yeah, did I say, yeah, what is this? It's Calvin Klein, yeah. And I absolutely uh, adore this coat. And by the way, um, we talked about sizing up a little bit. Now today, of course, it doesn't matter whether I'd be sized up or not. But if I ever wanted to get a blazer under this, I would size up so that I can fit it. But you're going to see, even though I sized um, up, it's still going to look good with a bodycon dress like this. So it's just a good tip to remember. So this, and I know you've seen me this before. I got this at White House Black Market. 
This is um, my Persian lamb coat and it's very vintagey and and black and it just it comes to uh, it, it is a very acceptable length. It's it's almost long, but it's not that long. It's just perfect. And you'll probably just when I have it, you might see the top of my boots or somewhere in there, something like that. But we're going to see what this this is a nice A line. And I forgot to show you, but I'm going to be wearing it with um, a bucket bag that's also Persian lamb that I picked up at Macy's. Let's cinch it in a little bit so you can see the shape a little better. Um, but I like how these match and it's just cute. And it does look good um, with the Steve Madden boots that I'm wearing. So you'll see that in the fashioning. I also like with this bag, I like that it has the feet on the bottom. I, I, I love that. Um, just a detail that I look for when I purchase bags. Okay, so you'll see this in the fashioning. Yeah, so let me you know, compare the coats, bags, and let me know what you think and what you like better. Okay, and last but not least, uh, you know what they say about January and February being a great time to buy coats. Well, um, I really love the look of this moto jacket. I own it in a burgundy and now I own it in black. And uh, this is one of my Valentine's Day presents. And I had the same black uh, Wilson's leather jacket since the year 2000. <laughs> so it was about time for me to update things. And um, I just adore this. You're just gonna, you're gonna love it. And this just totally, uh, this, I, I love rocking this jacket with this outfit and, and, the, and the leather hat. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say right off the bat. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be doing some fashioning. So, uh, yeah, it's um, I'm just really enjoying this and showing you all these different style combinations and um, what they can do for you. And and did I say did I say it's a Michael Kors? It's a Michael Kors. I should be telling you what brand it is. OK, and um, it's from Macy's again. They have some great coat sales going on right now. So definitely check them out. Yeah, so tell me what you think about this one. OK, and you'll see it in the fashioning. And, um, and tell me what you think about all the fashioning and again, what bags you like better, what coats, what combinations. And um, this is so fun to do. So I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. I hope you enjoyed this fashion moment 28. Boy, it's just, uh, I feel like the time goes by so quickly. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed the styling of, of um, the way I styled this dress with many different accessories and um, just showed you how to look taller and leaner. And we talked about posture and, um, you know, it's important to dress with intention and to, um, to dress with presence, you know, that flat back, that posture, that, you know, it just, that, that just feeling of, um, of power that it gives you, the, you know, the feeling and, and, but also gracefulness and it's important to carry yourself and feel confident. And I hope I'm showing you that and, and, and you know, pushing that vibe your way. And, you know, as a 40, 50, 60 year old up, even 30, I mean, you totally, you can totally rock this outfit and wear it and wear it with confidence. And I hope you like my little tricks and tips. And, um, what else did I want to say? And the Saint makeup. Yeah. So if you're interested in getting started with the Saint makeup, it, I, I adore the Saint makeup. It is just so lovely on my skin. I can do so many uh, looks with it. It is so travel friendly. It's just so um, compact and simplified and easy to do. Watch my tutorials, lady on you, uh, ladies on YouTube, and you will see how easy it is to use this makeup. And I, I love how it doesn't sit in my fine lines and wrinkles and um, how it's an occlusive agent. It keeps my moisture in. Uh, it's great for any skin type, but especially mature skin. I really love this uh, makeup. I love the eyeshadow look that we achieved. I will be doing um, a separate eyeshadow video in the future with this uh, specific look with the Graceland. I really like that. And um, yeah, that's all I wanna say. The Saint makeup, super affordable, super simplistic great for the mom on the go or the busy working woman. And if you want to get started with that, you just DM me, okay? DM me in the comments, or you can contact me at eloquentlyemmy at gmail.com and I'll get you started with the saint. 
Okay, so as always, it's been such a pleasure doing this video for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a fabulous week. And always remember to wear your sunscreen, even in the winter. And always remember to live life passionately. Thank you.